How you doing? Huh? How you doing? <laughs> What is wrong with these guys? What? There he is, Chef Damon, open this week's Kid Coaches Outdoors video. All right, what is it? You saw it. It's gonna be a little uh, how to make that rig that everybody's been emailing me about, the fluke rig, all right? Got a lot of hits on that video. People were digging it, and they were wondering how exactly I set that rig up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the shop, watch this. How you like that, Johnny? That's a little magic trick, Kid Cochise Outdoors. Yeah. All right, in the shop right now. Mark, you need to get back on the boat. Oh, you got to go. I got to go back to the boat. All right, I'm back at the boat. Oh, I got a phone call. Stand by. Who is it? No caller ID. See that right there? Not answering it. Not gonna happen. I don't like caller ID. I got a lot of people looking for me, all right? Yeah, check it is. Oh, jeez, we got a message. What? Oh, boy. Let's see what it is. This can't be good. Hi, the name is Pedro, P-E-D-R-O. And I'm calling to inquire about your charters uh, for a striped bass and to take the family out for floating. So I guess this, uh, this will be for 2016. But I just wanted to uh, inquire. My number is 917-301. Are you doing anything anymore this year for striped bass? And thank you. Pedro, P-E-D-R-O, 917-301. Bye. All right, Pedro. That was Pedro right there looking to hang out with Kid Cheese. We'll have to get back to him. We're shutting down this year. And to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing next year because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with uh, soldiers and stuff like that. We'll be taking soldiers out filming the stuff next year so we'll see what happens i'll give pedro a call back pedro thanks for calling kid coach cheese outdoors a little charter action maybe we'll get together maybe we'll get you on some fluke and stuff like that so shake it easy i'm on a tangent right now all right folks that was a little, a little tangent right there all right let's get to the shop and show you how to rig this rig up all right here it is right there got a fancy little uh camera set up here oh now you can see that right there i don't all right, so what we're gonna do is, usually with this rig, we're gonna tie his fluorocarbon rig, but we're not gonna uh, be doing that fluorocarbon like this stuff here, your Zori, Seagull, I couldn't care less what you use. But for today's video, we're gonna be using that stuff, all right? 40, 40 pound test monofilament. How we start it off, I'm just gonna grab arm's length, and key is you gotta cut that arm's length off, cut it. Boom, gone. Let's get this out here so it doesn't distract us. All right, done. All right. And we're going to be doing a tandem rig, all right? This is a big bait rig. This is another rig you can use with live bait, live bunker. Just kick the hooks up to like a nine odd. These right here, as you can see, these are inch boxes right here, all right? So this is a five odd hook, J hook. You see that? That's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using two of these bad boys. And we're going to set up a tandem rig, all right? It's going to be one hook followed by the other hook. is a teaser hook or a trailer hook, whatever you want to call it. All right, so we're going to snell the first hook. We're going to go through the eye. All right, just like that. We're going to give a nice tag end, all right, because this tag end we're going to snell another hook onto. So now we're going to work forward with this hook. We're just going to kind of wrap it and wrap it back towards the hook itself, away from the eye. All right, wrap it. You know, I wrap it probably 11 times. See how that's going, right? Perfect there. Let's see if I can just get that right. You see that? All right. And then next one, we're going to stop it. We're going to take the long end and stick the long end through here, through the eye, and just pull it. Real simple. Really simple. And watch that hook as it snells now. Works up towards the eye. That's tight as a drum. Okay. So that's our first hook. That's the hook that's going to get the squid on it. And then we're going to snell the second hook here. All right. So the first hook is on. Snelled on like that, and we're gonna show you how to tie the second hook. Second hook again is a five odd hook. All right, we'll go under here. Key here is you want to feed it on the same way, obviously. All right, you want it to run the same way, so you're gonna take it. The excess we're gonna stick through the end here. That eye. 
and again important to make sure that it's following the same technique same way all right so hook after hook that's probably going to work for us right there we're going to snell this hook like the way we showed you how to do on the blackfish all right this next snell is going to be work towards the eye of the hook all right 11 times keep going around this is a real easy snell keep going around keep going around keep going around keep going around all right so we get that 11 times whatever it is whatever you want to do it Almost there, squeezing as we're going. Now we're going to push this guy forward. All right, you guys see that? And we're going to sneak this through here, and that's it. And that's that snell. So we're going to pull, it's going to snell itself, and that's it. There's a second snell. Again, it's a long hook here. Again, these are all, you just trim it. Everybody says it's here, trim that tag end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven inch bait. All right, this is usually going to be like a nine inch bait presentation. So now we have that, and what we do now is we can feed on all different things. What you guys saw in that video was this. All right, so what we do obviously is feed that down the circle. This is something really good early season when the squid make their way in from the ocean. And we're just going to feed that down. I can see. I need to... oh boy, sorry about that. It's like threading the needle, right? I didn't know. All right, so we're going to take that guy there. And we're going to feed this squid all the way down to the double hooks. The first hook, obviously, you want to ram it into the squid's belly. And that's it right there. It's long bait. All right, let me show you on the yo fancy schmancy here. Yo, what's up, Holmes? That's what it looks like. All right. Big piece of either fluke belly here to catch onto the teaser hook here. And that's it. All right. Next thing we're going to need is this little guy right here. And that's just going to be tied on with a polymer knot here. So be according to your weight, your drift. Use the least amount of weight you can to hold bottom. All right. You don't want this to scope out too much. It can scope out a little bit, but don't uh, let it scope out too much. And the technique we're going to use is just kind of not going to be a jigging technique. It's just going to be every couple seconds lift that rod tip. Lift that rod tip. Get into a cadence. And if you feel something funky, the fish is probably just hanging on to it. Just give it a nice tug. Set the hook on them, all right? You see in the video here that these fish kind of swim with it. They're real funky. It's not an aggressive hit like you're jigging. You know, jigging is real quick, and you're going to feel me set up on really quick. When they follow big baits like this, they are. Oh, check it out. Come over here. Look who's here. Look who just interrupted. Say everybody hello, King Cochise Station. <laughs> yeah. Hey, King Cochise. <laughs> All right. She's interrupted, but she stays in. All right. So I thought lost my train of thought. But again, this is just a slight lift of the rod tip. When you feel something, set them up. These fish will swim with these baits in their mouth. They're big baits. Again, they're nine inches or better. So that's it. So you're going to do a polymer knot for that swivel. You can leave it a little long. So if you're not getting bit on the squid, just pop it off. And just feed down the iridescent one down on top of it will look like that all right and that's that that's the squid rig early season shake of these all right i'm getting the heck out of here all right folks we're gonna end up with uh, just a quick fish here this is basically it in a nutshell this is how the uh, bait is presented and uh, you see me here i'm jigging a little bit and that's basically i'm not really jigging i'm just kind of lifting the rod tip a little bit every couple of seconds just to get that uh just to move kick up the bottom a little bit with the sinker all right if you look at the back of the uh, bait now you see it's got a really cool swing presentation this guy can't help but come say hello to it however he short strikes it even with the tra uh, the trailer hook all right so i feel of resistance i set up on him and i don't get him oh, but what happens no. next he's in love with the bait all right the bait so he's coming back for more and basically, if you see here, I'm going to hook him up. I'm going to go to slow-mo real easy here. Check out the slow-mo. You'll see that this guy's hooked up on his trailer hook here. All right? So there's the trailer hook hooking him up. And what do you say when it has that, when he hooks up with the trailer hook? There's nothing to say, really. I don't. All right, shake these. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you dig it. All right, shake these again.